Hey guys, I just wanted to take a minute to show you a new feature that's been added to Reaper version 5.92. And that's the ability to draw a ruler and snap to our grid by measures. So right now my grid is set to quarter notes. We can see it right here from bar two to bar three, quarter notes. But now we can change it to a full measure. We could right click up here to our grid and we can go right here and switch it to measure. Now we can see a full measure for our grid or for snapping to it. So I can grab this item, move it over here, and it'll snap right to bar two, bar three, and so on. Now you're probably thinking, Reaper always worked this way if we chose one for our grid. Right down here, if we choose one, it behaves the same way. It'll snap to bar two, three, and so on. And that's true if you tend to work in 4-4. Four, four. But if we use odd signatures, it doesn't work quite the same. Let me give you an example. Let's go to bar two and change the time signature to 5-4. Right here, 5-4. Let's go to bar three and change it to 7-4. Then we'll go to bar four and change that to 10-8. See how messy that gets? We have extra lines here, here, and here that we don't really want if we want a full measure. If I grab my item, it's going to snap here, but also snaps here, 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 and so on. We want it to just snap on each measure and have grid lines only for each measure. But if we choose measure instead of one, we will. So let's right click here and change this to a measure. And it changes it all very nicely. Bar two, three, and four each have their own line, and they're just going to snap to the top of those bars. No matter what time signature we're using. So that's pretty much it. That's setting our ruler and snapping to grid based on measures in Reaper. 5.92. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.